is the Transfiguration. Peter, James, and John go up Mount Tabor with Jesus. They are with him, and he is at prayer. And the figures of Moses and Elijah also appear. We are enlightened to see that Jesus goes beyond the law that Moses represents and the prophets that Elijah represents, that he is not equal to Moses and Elijah, that, that he, but that he goes beyond them. And again, the words are said, this is my beloved son, listen to him. And so our Old Testament images of God fade out as we focus on Jesus. The final luminous mystery, the fifth one, is the institution of the Eucharist. Of course, this takes place at the Last Supper, and we are enlightened to see that in the Eucharist, we actually receive the body and the blood of Jesus, and that every time we receive his body and blood, we renew our commitment to live the Paschal mystery, the mystery of dying and rising with Jesus. So we have covered now the four sets of mysteries of the rosary. The question becomes then, when do we pray these mysteries? Okay, we pray the joyful mysteries on Monday and Saturday. We pray the sorrowful mysteries on Tuesdays and Fridays. We pray the glorious mysteries on Sundays and Wednesdays. The luminous mysteries have only one day, and that day is Thursday. I hope our presentations have helped you to understand the rosary better and have increased your desire to pray it.